Lee's hide is too thick to be pierced on the outside. I must cut through it from the inside. Huh? <laughs> no, no, no Trask! Wait a minute! Trask! What is he doing? He said the skin is too thick to be pierced from the outside. So that he... doesn't make any sense. I tried telling skin him that. Skin is the same level of thickness from the inside as from the outside. I realize that. There's a cut on its neck. Rock it. Get it to look up. First you flick this switch, then this switch. That activates it. Then you push this button, which will give you five minutes to get out of there. Now, whatever you do, don't push this button, because that will set off the bomb immediately and we'll all be dead. Now, repeat back what I just said. I'm Groot. Uh-huh. I'm Groot. That's right. I'm Groot. No! Now that's the button that will kill everyone. Try again. Hmm. I'm Groot. Mm -hmm. I am Groot. Uh huh. I'm Groot. No, that's exactly what you just said. How is that even possible? Which button is the button you're supposed to push? Point to it. No! Hey, you're making him nervous. Shut up and give me some tape. Does anybody have any tape out there? I want to put some tape over the death button. Weird. We've got a sovereign fleet approaching from the rear. Why would they do that? Probably because Rocket stole some of their batteries. Dude! Right. He didn't steal some of those. I don't know why they're after us. What a mystery this is. <laughs> Dude, they were really easy to steal. That's your defense? Come on! You saw how that high priestess talked down to us. Now, I'm teaching her a lesson. Oh, I didn't realize your motivation was altruism. It's really a shame the Sovereign had mistaken your intentions and are trying to kill us. Exactly! I was being sarcastic! Oh, no! You're supposed to use a sarcastic voice! Now I look foolish! Can we put the bickering on hold until after we survive this massive space battle? More incoming! Good! I'm gonna kill some guys! Do you know why I did it, Star Munch? Hmm? I'm not gonna answer, Star Munch. I did it because I wanted to! What are we even talking about this for? We just had a little man save us by blowing up 50 ships! How little? I don't know, like this? A little one-inch man saved us. Well, if he got closer, I'm sure he'd be much larger. If it's how eyesight works, you stupid raccoon. Don't call me a raccoon! I'm sorry. I took it too far. I meant trash panda. Is that better? I don't know. It's worse. It's so much worse. How'd you locate us now? Well, even where I reside, out past the edge of what's known, we've heard tell about the man they call Star-Lord. Let's say we head out there right now. Your associates are welcome. Even that triangle-faced monkey there. I promise you. It's unlike any other place you've ever seen. And there, I can explain your very Special heritage. Finally get to be the father I've always wanted to be. Hope you're ready. It'll be here any minute. Is that a rifle? You don't know what a rifle looks like? It's just swords were your thing and guns were mine. But I guess we were both doing guns now. I just didn't know that. 
Well, that's intense. I see it within you. Fear. Jealousy. Betrayal. It is our duty to cleanse the universe of this weakness. You know, they told me you people were conceited douchebags, but that isn't true at all. Dude. Ah, uh, I'm using my wrong eye. Through, put your seatbelt on! Jack up our prices for two-time galaxy savers. Yes! you're searching for your whole life it's right there by your side all along you're right all you do is yell at each other you're not friends no we're family except maybe her After all these years, I've found you. And who the hell are you? I'm your dad, Peter. <laughs>